Hey everybody. So um, I am doing a urban hike today because Runyon Canyon is closed. Um, and if I don't get out here and walk, I'm going to have the same waistline as my refrigerator. <laughs> I find myself opening that door every 10 minutes and putting something in my, my mouth that if I don't walk it off, is gonna stick. Uh, but I've been watching people share recipes online and I don't cook uh, and uh, I'm good with that. But I thought that I might share my mental recipe for navigating these times. <laughs> they are sharing comfort food and I think I'll share comfort thoughts for navigating these times. First and foremost is a big dose of the thought that mm, there is something bigger than me that loves me, cares for me, and responds to my heart. That lets me know and surrender to, take my hands off the wheel and surrender to the idea that there's more going on here than what I can see. And by doing that, it allows my heart to calm itself <laughs> and stress to uh, be alleviated. Second is setting a t an intention for who I wanna be in these times, how I want to go through these times. We get to be deliberate about our lives in any way that we choose. And so I am deliberately choosing to navigate these times with an open mind and open heart and paying attention to consciously elevating my inner state as often as I need to so that I can pull my mind out of survival self-thinking and spend more time in thriving self-thinking as as I've shared with you many times surviving self-thinking is, is all about worry doubt and fear and when we are in worry doubt and fear our vision narrows and we actually become more anxious and are more prone towards depression so as often as I can, I interrupt worry, doubt, and fear with an openness to possibility, curiosity, enthusiasm, hope, uh, and surrender. If you find yourself in worry, doubt, and fear, literally consciously stop. Think about a, a moment in your past where you know, out of nowhere, good came from what seemed like difficult circumstances. You can also always move to a sense of gratitude. And it doesn't have to be, you know, um, you know, professed gratitude, but real gratitude, find something, even if it's just that you're still alive, even if it's that you're with your family, whatever you can be grateful for, move there and it will move you into a more elevated perspective. <clears throat> the second thing is that we get to write the narrative of our life. We're writing it all the time. Even though these times are challenging, Life really boils down to a simple equation. This is a creative medium. We are creative within the medium and life is just doing what life does. Life is bumping into itself, creating more life. Life bumping into life, creating more life. So don't take these times personally. And yes, I understand that they are maybe impacting your life at a personal level. But 
God didn't send this. The universe isn't against us. This is life happening and unfolding. And you get to write the narrative of how you respond when life bumps into the creative force that you are. The next is that, um, you know, cultivate a sense of belonging. And you can do that a number of ways. You can, you know, have a good dance party with yourself. You can go online and find a community that is talking your talk. I had a wonderful couple of evenings uh, showing up at D-Nice's um, DJ house party, right, online. When you have a sense of belonging, you can more readily tap into transcendent feelings. Those are those moments when, you know, you're just lifted out of yourself. You're lifted out of the moment and you experience bliss. You experience yourself bigger than the moment or the circumstances that you're in. And last, I will just say that returning to the gratitude, being thankful, reaching out and checking on another soul. These are all ways in which we can more consciously and with greater elevated feelings move through this time and get to the other side and have a surprising story to tell. Okay, I'm loving you guys.